thought I'd do the video on how to recycle and reuse those multi-display panels from washing machines that I have acquired from a friend. Uh, he runs a business of scrapping ex-government white goods and equipment for metals, you know, all those sorts of stuff. And he used to throw away the circuit boards from the machines, but now he gives them to me for parts. Um, there's a quite a few co good components that I get from them, like uh, relays and microprocessors, steppers, drivers, all that sort of stuff. And um, also those displays. Uh, first, I thought that um, I don't really have a use for them as, um, you know, they kind of dedicated to washing machine and they um, have displays, uh, display functions like uh, washing cycles and there's not much I can do with them. But they were too nice to throw them away. So from previous experience, I thought that all the symbols were molded into the plastic uh, with printed text label over the top. But one of the displays uh, that I've encountered was cracked. And that's when I noticed that all their icons are actually printed on the labels. And if I remove this label, it will reveal bare pixels underneath. So when I remove it, as you can see, just bare pixels and that's just the icons. So I've scanned the display using um, a normal scanner. Using that scan, I've created a blank plate uh, like this as a template for any future projects that I might have that need a multi-display. And then I have photoshopped my own icons onto those blank windows that look like that. So this is not for a project, this is just uh, a demo. And um, just to show you what it looks like. And then I printed that on transparency film as a mirror image. Where is it? There it is. So it's unfortunately, my printer really hates transparency film. And once again, it screwed me over when I tried to print this. So it's smudged part of it, as you can see. And it's got lines every few millimeters, so it's a, it's a really dodgy plate. But if you have a different, uh, like decent printer, it would uh, turn out heaps better. Laser printers probably would be the best on a full contrast setting, and yeah, it should do a great job. Once you overlay it over the display, let's turn it right side up, it looks quite nice. You can uh, have your own display. Take a note that you can print a text, as you see, it says here, level, that is printed not over the LEDs, but over the blank white plastic. And through the transparency film, it looks really nice. So you can literally use it as a text or a frame, as I've done here. Now, it took me quite a while to trace out the pinouts of this display because it uses different types of configurations of LEDs. For example, this corner is four green LEDs in series, so it needs roughly 10 volts, while uh, these LEDs, like the little ones of the dots, is a single red LED, which needs around one and a half volts. All the seven segments are multiplexed. To make things easier, I actually used a cracked display and teared it down. Where is the board? Um, there is the display. Let me just clear that. So that's the display and that's the board from underneath it. Uh, you can see the, um, that's the top. There's a four series LEDs and those are just a single or three of them. There's a heaps more of similar displays that just use a plate over the top. It wasn't actually easy to uh, break this one as it's um, uh, sealed uh, with this hard epoxy resin, but once I got the board out, it was easy to trace the pins, by the way. So those similar type displays used in a lot of electronics, you can find those in a microwave, so fridges, washing machines, other household goods. Uh, and once you make your own faceplate like this, you can reuse them for your own projects. Here's an example of the other displays. As you see, that's the same as that. And all you need to do is peel that off and it reveals a nice display. 
also those plates um, as you might noticed uh, there's a blanks a lot of blanks um, spaces in here that hides um, LEDs those LEDs are hooked up to pins so they can be used with your own design bear in mind that the larger the pixel is the more LEDs are hiding underneath it so for example take those seven segment displays this small one only uses one LED for each segment and it will turn on from one and a half volts however those large 2.1 inch displays using four LEDs in series for each segment so I think data sheet said it needs around 9 volts um, or something around that so you need higher voltage same thing here except it's not equal this one is all equal 9 volts per segment this one is all different so you'd have one and a half volts per, per those segments you'd need probably about 3 volts for those but maybe 9 volts for those so it's, it's all different uh, and that's how you can uh, reuse those displays using your um, own face plates. Again, sorry about the um, print. I, I need to get a new printer. But that's what it would have looked like. And it overlays really well over the top of those displays. Um, at the moment, I'm actually doing this video at my uh, video editing desk because um, my workbench is undergoing construction and all the video equipment. So might hear a bit of a buzzing sound in the background which is lighting uh, but yeah so that's how you reuse those displays